This is why there's always a place of ministry, and yes, let me sir. encourage you. And let's pray for workers, and let's pray. Let's pray for missionaries. Let's pray for pastors. Yes. Let's pray for workers. Let's pray more for faithful people, my church. Yes. And I think that's what we need, my brother, to do. First John chapter five, verse fourteen and fifteen. Send you my Bibles. Uh, if you're there, let's read together. Just two verse, quick tonight. And we're going to pray, and there's a lot of things to pray tonight. Uh, tinina ko yung, 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 ano, yung prayer request na growth points, ang dami. And sa mga growth point teachers na hindi naglalagay, hinahanap ko po yung prayer request ng inyong mga members sa growth point. Okay? So please, please send that. I'm praying for them also uh, privately. And so please do that. First uh, John chapter 5. Verse 14 to 15. Let's read. Everybody now go. And this is the confidence that we have in Him that if we ask anything according to His will, He heareth us. And if we know that He hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of Him. I like to preach on that subject, confident prayer. A confident prayer. Father, bless your people. Bless this time again as we go under the Word of God. Panon, uh, even me, panon, I, I need this message tonight. Uh, sometimes in our Christian life, uh, panon, there's going to be a lot of doubts. And panon, there's, there's a lot of discouragements. There's a lot of things to think about. But Lord, thank you that... Panginoon, our salvation is secured. The Holy Spirit is really in our life. He'll never be able to uh, be uh, leave us nor forsake us. And Lord, I pray tonight, uh, encourage our people, teach our people, grow our people, mature our people in the practice and in the discipline of prayer. Lord, thank you for allowing us to come to you boldly, to come to the throne of grace because of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is now our mediator. And the Holy Spirit, Panginoon, that, that Panginoon, uh, uh, helps us uh, and, and, Lord, encourages us. And I pray tonight that this message would again bless your people. In Jesus' name we pray. Well, amen. Confident prayer. Today, we are examining a single verse in John, from 1 John chapter number 5. Uh, that is leading, mga kapatid, or that is loaded with meanings and calls for us to act on as God's people with regards to prayer. Napansin niyo po, every Wednesday night, we are emphasizing prayer. Prayer. Mga kapatid, hindi po yan, uh, I, I say this tonight, huwag niyo po yan basta palampasin na parang ang prayer. No, no, no. Prayer is very important. Without this, we would not have a ministry. You will not be studying your Christian life. It is important. We are God-dependent, and the way we are God-dependent is we come to God in prayer. Okay? If you don't pray, if you don't come to Wednesday night, it means you don't need God. Listen, I need God. You need God. We need to be in prayer. The reason why First uh, John chapter 5 uh, talks about this because mga kapatid, si John himself, Apostle John, was very familiar with prayer. Why? Because he has a very close up to the ministry and the person of Jesus Christ. Laging kasama ng panahon si John, John the Beloved. Uh, among the twelve, mayroong core ang Panginoon. Si, sino yan? Core ng Panginoon? Si John, si Peter, at saka si Andrew. Very close sa Panginoon. And, and John has an up-close observation on Jesus Christ. And, and he noticed, mga kapatid, and he knew very well that the life of Jesus is a life of prayer as well. So first, uh, John was very acquainted with the prayer life of Jesus. Uh, if you read your Bible and study that, John was one of the three disciples uh, in the core group of Jesus Christ. Uh, he saw Jesus Christ in praying, praying personally, privately in Gethsemane. He see mga kapatid, Jesus Christ uh, sweating with blood and te- blood habang nanalangin. He saw that. And so he understand mga kapatid, that, listen, that prayer is really, really very important. Uh, John was with Jesus in the Mount of Transfiguration. 
Nagpalit ang kanyang Panginoon. John saw it. He was there. Uh, a lot of things, mga kapatid. Uh, uh, with Peter, James, the Bible says that Christ rose from the, the first day. And while the disciples were sleeping, listen to this, uh, and went to pray as was his custom, John was also there again to see Jesus praying. So, tonight, sa book po ni John, he has all the confidence to talk about prayer. Let me ask you, gabi, are you confident in your prayers? Or is it, mga kapatid, that your prayer is just a, a, a ritual? It is something, mga kapatid, ginagawa sa prayer meeting. I need to pray bago kumain. I need to pray bago... Is it something that you just do? Or you really believe that prayer, mga kapatid, and that your prayers are powerful and needed in your life? Uh, it's something, mga kapatid, to know about it. It's something to believe in it. But it's also something and greater thing about to experience the power of your prayer. Yes, the more, mga pade, that you pray for something and, 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 and the more, mga pade, it's big or it's impossible and, and God answers it, the more your prayer life becomes strengthened and becomes matured. May pinalain ka na ba, mga pade, na before parang impossible, pero ngayon, na, na na. You know what happens? Then your prayer life becomes more matured. You're more confident in praying. But sabi ni James, you pray according to God's will. Kaya mahalaga nagbabasa ng Bible. Mahalagang nakikinig ng preaching. Mahalagang lumalago sa growth point. Because you cannot pray something apart from God's will. But listen, I always say this. The greatest formula for answered prayer is this. You pray in God's will. Listen to this. If your prayer and God's will coincides, then that's already and that is absolutely an answered prayer. Pag yung panalangin mo at saka yung kaloob ng Diyos sa'yo ay nagtugma, Mga patid, answered prayer yan. Kaya minsan hindi tumugod ang panalangin natin kasi yung kagustuhan mo hindi kalooban ng Diyos sa'yo. Ang mahirap dyan mga kapatid, pinilit mo, ibinigay ng Panginoon, ayaw lang pa, ibinigay kasi makulit ka, pero ano resulta? Hindi rin blessing. Sino po rito sa inyong buhay, honestly, may pinalangin ka, kinulit ng kulit mo, nung dating sa'yo, hindi naging pagpapala. Sabi ng Bible, every good thing, every good gift comes from the Lord. Wala pong hindi magbuti na bigay sa Panginoon. Pag may mga hiningi ka, napasayo, napasama ka, hindi sa Panginoon. Amen. Marami example sa Bible. Wag, wag mong pangunahin ng Panginoon. Wag mong pangunahan. Pag nauna ka sa Panginoon, mga kapatid, mahirap yan, problema yan. So there's a lot of things. So, so John understands. So tonight, let me give you one of the three parts of my preaching tonight because we like to stay 10 minutes Wednesday night so that we could pray more. Say amen. Sabi mo nga sa akin, yung sabi mo nga sa atin, Pastor, but Wednesday night, ang iksi ng preaching mo. 10 minutes, nabibitin kami. Sabi ko po, kasi po, pag Wednesday night, prayer meeting. Hindi naman taga preaching meeting. Ang hirap kasi, narealize ko, matagal ko sa church, prayer meeting, Ang preaching, one hour, ang prayer, limang minuto, uwi na. Eh di, hindi prayer service, preaching service yun. Kaya pag mag prayer meeting, mga kapatid, dapat at least 30 minutes kayo nananalangin. Okay? Kaya ako iniiksin ang preaching ko, although kailangan ng preaching, say amen, so we could be able to get encouraged about prayer. Pero mga kapatid, that's of that mahaba ang prayer nyo. Baka naman kasi, mas madami ang kwentuhan nyo kaysa prayer nyo. Okay? Huwag naman. Mas dapat, mas mahaba ang panalangin kaysa kwentuhan pag ng service, ha? Amen. Amen. So we're going to do that. Number one tonight, I'd like to talk about this. We're going to continue this in three parts. I'd like to talk about our confidence in appearing before God in prayer. I'd like you to observe first, mga kapatid, in your Bibles, our confidence in appearing before God in prayer. We need to understand what the word confidence means. Look at your Bible, sabi niya, and this is the confidence. This is a powerful word. The, the, in fact, mga pati, the, the word confidence is the word paresia, paresia, which means outspoken. Sino po rito yung outspoken? Yung kung ano maisip po sinasabi mo, hindi mo iniisip. Mahirap din yun, di ba? But ang idea po nito, mga kapatid, is this, hindi ka nahihiyang sabihin talaga kung ano ang nasa isip mo. That, that's, 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 the, that's the word there. Confidence. Alam mo, pag isang tao hindi mo kilala, maingat ka sa sinasabi mo eh, pinag-aaralan mo yung mga sinasabi mo, hindi mo kakilala eh. 
Pero pag yan ay kakilala mo, mga kapad, at close na close ka, mga kapad, hindi mo na sinasabi mo lang, may kasama pang hataw. I mean, you, that's the word there, confidence. And sabi John, and, and this is our confidence. Our confidence uh, before God in prayer. Uh, the word means to utter, to speak, to say uh, real things, to say naturally what's in your heart. Is your prayer a, 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 a prayer, a communication that is natural? Alam mo, mapapansin mo ang maturity ng isang kristyano, pakinggan mo yung panalangin niya pag nananalangin. Diyan ang makita ang maturity ng kristyano. Are you listening to Amen? Yeah. Ang, ang maturity ng tao, makikita mo sa sinasabi niya. Ngayon, kung kristyano ka, maaaring mature ka, maaaring eloquent ka, maaaring mag- mag- magbalik kang magsalita, panagsasalita ka, ang mo na sasabi. Pero pag nanalangin ka, ano na sasabi mo? O maiksing maiksi lang. Ano, y- yan ang iron ng maraming kasyano. Maraming nasasabi. Uh, Misi sa mga preach, uh, uh, maraming mag- magaling, magsa- maraming nasasabi, ang daming preach, pero pakinggan mo yung panalangin nila. Pag nananangin. Parang alayo, pag hindi sila nananalangin. Wait, ito may, may man kayo, parang mabalis tayo. I'm just telling you this. And could I add this tonight? And be honest, my brother. I would rather have a great prayer life than a great preaching life. Yes, sir. Amen. Could I be honest tonight, my? I would like. I would like to have a great prayer life rather than to have a great ministry life. Yes, sir. Amen. I might sing well. I, I might play well. I might do things in church well. Pero yung prayer life mo is it well? Alright. Amen. Inyone. Eh. Alam mo, Christian life, mga, ang secret talaga yan, panalangin. I mean, you, 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 I know, some, some of you here, you know, I know personally, uh, I mean, you're, you're, you're prayerful people. But tapos niya yan, pag talaga nanalangin ka, ano man ang sitwasyon, ano, I mean, there's, there's power in it. Kaya nga po yung kasabihan, prayer is power, hindi yan kasabihan, totoo yan. Sa totoong naunawaan, yung panalangin, power talaga yan. So look at your prayer life. Look at your private prayer life. Is it natural? Ang uh, maganda yan, could I give, uh, give you an example practically? I-record yung panalangin nyo. Bago pagkatapos, pakinggan nyo. Hindi nga, challenge ko sa inyo. Panalangin ka, record mo. Yung private lang, record mo. Panalangin mo. Bago pagkatapos, pakinggan mo. Bago sabihin mo. Ano ang tingin mo doon sa nalangin? Lumalago ba sa Panginoon o mababaw sa Panginoon? Parang tahimik na naman kayo. Hahaba tayo. I've learned, mga ba, I'm turning 50 and I've been in the ministry for many years. Mga ba, I've, the most faithful and consistent and Christians are gonna, who are able to mga ba, survive in the Christian life amidst all the problems, the pains, the heartaches, the troubles, are prayerful Christians. Hindi po yung Christian ang magaling kumanta, magaling may talent, magaling mag-print na na. Prayerful. Prayerful. Our confidence in appearing before God, we, we can talk to the Lord about anything and everything. You, you could say, mga kapat, things that in your heart. You could say, mga kapat, things that you desire, confidence in prayer. Pastor, why give you three things tonight? Because I like to draw letter A, the worth of prayer. Letter A, the worth of prayer. What's, what's, what is prayer's worth? Ano ang halaga ng panalangin sa buhay natin? Mga kapatid, mas mahalaga yan sa kakainin mo kahit anong sarap niyan. Kaya minsan ang iksi ng prayer mo kasi gusto mong kumain agad. Mas mahalaga yan sa pupuntahan mo. Kaya minsan ang iksi ng panalangin mo, ang babaw-babaw kasi nagmamadali ka, may gagawin ka. Kumbaga, nas- natuwi lang kristyano, kailangan manalangin. Para lang opening prayer lang. Kailangan, kasi kailangan lang may opening prayer. Or kailangan lang may closing prayer or may bedtime prayer. Pero yung prayer mo, hindi naman yun. Nagmamadali ka na matulog kasi inaantok ka na. 
Ang mabadali kang umalis. I mean, and uh, listen to this. Say amen if it's true. And, and that's what's happening. Lalo habang tumatagal ka bilang kristyano, pag na-expose ka sa environment, parang tingin mo na ano yan, laro-laro lang, parang tingin mo mga kapatid, parang, parang you know, ay, kasama lang talaga sa programa yan. Pero ang katotohanan mga kapatid, hindi mo naunawaan. Pag dumating sa buhay mo at ikaw ay naging mature, dumaan ka, ma-realize mo, yan ay kailangan. Hindi yan basta ginagawa, hindi yan relihiyon, hindi yan ritual, yan buhay, relasyon na mahalaga sa buhay mo, panalangin sa Panginoon. What's the word of prayer? I thought it was the word. Letter A. Prayer is a sin killer. It's hard to pray when you have sin. But when you sin, mga kapatid, but when you pray, sin is lifted up. And sin is something that you are able to fight and go away from. Prayer is a sin killer. You know, yung mga young people, mga kapatid, pag, kaya nakakatakot sa mga young people eh. Ang mga young people, ma, 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 asaminin natin, mga kapatid, marami sa mga young people, dahil mas maraming ginagawa, pero yung kalang prayer life, wala. Busy sa maraming na, 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 na panahon. Busy sa school, busy sa, sa, sa assignment, busy sa internet, busy sa, sa games, busy sa kung saan-saan, pero yung prayer life. Sabi ko nga, eh, sa panahon namin ni na preacher Lito, eh, wala namang ganyan. Eh. Ang hirap di mag young people. Eh. Sa totoo lang. O parang, anong young people ako? Ang hirap. Sabi nga, kung di lang ako may na commitment sa Panginoon eh. Naalala ko yung commitment ko lagi sa Panginoon eh. Hindi, hindi ako umabot sa ganito. Eh ngayon pa mga kapatid, yung mga young people natin expose kung saan saan. Hindi kailangan umalis ng kwarto para ma-expose. Kaya noon, nung kami, nung yung young people kami, di ba? Hindi kami pinapunta sa sinihan, hindi kami pinapunta kung saan-saan, sa bahay lang, school. Ayaw may expose eh. Eh, ang people, kahit nasa na-expose. Okay. Biski nasa simbahan nga, na-expose kung saan-saan eh. Kasi hindi nakikilang preaching kung ano-ano ginagawa sa cellphone. Hindi nakikinig. Cellphone na sa umaga, cellphone pa sa tanghali, 24 hours na. Pati sa simbahan, naka-cellphone pa. Kaya nga sa'yo sa cellphone, mga kapatid, huwag kayo mag-cellphone, makalik kayo rito, huwag kayo manood sa, sa Facebook. Na, andito na kayo, nanood pa kayo sa Facebook. Andito nga kayo eh. Ba't ba? Sa tatawa ko minsan, yung mga members, ano ba? Ano ka tayo sa cellphone? Kasi po sa pinapalito tayo sa Facebook. At dito ka na nga eh! Ano ba na Facebook? Ano ba yan? Ha? Prayer is a sin killer. Alam mo yung, pagka alam mo may temptation ka, manalangin ka. Ang bihirap. God's gonna deliver you from that. Alam mo, pag may weakness ka, ipanalangin mo na. You're gonna be delivered from that. Ano mga pag may struggle ka, ipanalangin mo. You're gonna do it. Ano ba't wala kang joy? Because mayroon kang sin. Sin is a robber of joy. Sin, mga ba, is a robber of the desire to serve the Lord. Sin, mga is a robber for you to read your Bible. Sin is gonna hinder you to pray. Sin is gonna have put sadness in your life. Maybe it's gonna be, you're gonna have a, a little of, of mga entertainment, a little of, of, of mga ba, satisfaction with that. But listen, it's gonna be a lifetime of regret. Mga ba, it's gonna be a life of, of failures. Listen, how do you do that? How do you go about that? Hey, pray! Kaya nga, pag may kahinaan ka, dapat mas mapanalangin ka. And by the way, lahat tayo may kahinaan, kaya dapat tayo lahat na nalangin. Iba-iba ang ating struggle. I was talking to someone the other day. Sabi niya, Pastor, I've realized depression is real. Sabi ko, yeah, ako, kasi alam ko, nararamdaman ko nga eh. Pagkagabi nga, nadidepress ako. Totoo lang. Naiinis na ako. Wala lang, sabi ko nga kay, kay, kay Pam, pray mo nga ako. Pero sabi ko nga, Ang aking encouragement lang, panalangin siya kasi eh. Pag nga nakikita ko, na-encourage ako eh. Kasama ng anak, mga February, amen. Pero sa totoo lang, pag awa siya, dito kasi, ang hirap kaya. Ang hirap. Naawa ako, sarili ko, na nainis ako, ba't ako nagmutong? Amin, ah, nababagal ako, ang dami kong gustong gawin. Sarili ko, ako, napaka-independent ko. Kaya kung may gumagawa para sa akin, mga, nainis ako. Ano ginagawa ko ako nakakatulog? Nananalangin ako hanggang makatulog ako. Nagigising ako alas dos, alas tres. Nakita ko yung mga kasama ko, nakahiga, nakanganga, nakataas ang kamay. Ang sarap na ano. Gusto kong itas yung kamay ko, hindi ko mataas. Ilang buwan na ganito, ang alay na alay. Gusto kong itas, hindi ko mataas. Ang tulog ko, isang pwesto lang. Dalawang buwan na. Sixty days. Hindi ako makatagilid, hindi ako maganoon, hindi ako makadapa. Sige, ang bihira na inis ako. Ang ginagawa ko, 
Nanonood ako ng ating preaching, kikinig ako ng kalte ng kanta, nanalangin ako. Hagang makatulog ako. Pag sumikat na araw, masaya na na uli ako. Pag Wednesday night, pag Wednesday night, masaya uli ako. Pag saan masaya uli ako, ano bubuhin sa akin? Ano ba nabihang asa yun? Hindi ko alam buhay nyo. Alam mo siya, panalangin ha. Kaya yung unbeliever na walang panalangin sa buhay, maluloko-loko talaga eh. At kahit kayo siya nang hindi nanalangin, magbabackslide talaga eh. Madidiscourage talaga eh. Ah, ano, kahit, kahit kayo lumaki pa sa simbahan, kahit alam mo pa ang Bible, kahit Bible college student ka pa, kahit preacher ka pa, uh, kahit marami ka pa, ano, mga kapatid, pag nawala ang prayer life mo, patay kang bata ka. Ay, akala mo, sisimba ka lang ng Sunday morning, okay na, mga kapatid, kalukuhan yan. Tignan mo sa buhay mo, alam mo, hindi totoo yan. Problema ka, hindi ka langan ng Wednesday night, sisimba ka ng linggo. Kaya pagka linggo, wala rin ang buhay mo, wala rin ang spiritualidad mo, tulog ka sa simbahan, wala kang joy, uuwi ka. Wala. Totoong salita lang, mga kapatid. Hindi tayo nagbabulan. Preaching na tama. It's a sin killer. Prayer, what's your worth? It's a sin killer. Number two, prayer is a door opener. I mean, you know the verse. I won't give you that. We're gonna be preaching long. When you pray, may mga bagay mga hindi mo alam, pero binubuksan ng Diyos. Hindi mo naisip, pero binubuksan ng Diyos as you pray. Uh, but, kung, but, but nabuksan niyang rich na yan Sunday night sa mga, sa mga district when I was praying. <laughs> Panginoon, nakita ko, na-realize ko, ang dami ng members, we got people coming in here. I, I don't know kung nakatulad ko, nadidepress ba sila, nakapaglingkod ba sila. Alam ko sa buhay ko, kahit ako ligtas, pag hindi ako nakapaglingkod, walang joy. So, paano ano ba gagawin ko? So, you know, I was praying and you know, I never, you think a lot of our, what we do here is something I've learned from UP. Mga ba, UP won't teach you ministry. Dealing with people, mga won't teach you, you know, God's work is led by God's way and man, uh, given by God because it's God's work. Uh, people, you know, I, I always tell people, hey, walang kinalaman ang edukasyon ko dyan, walang kinalaman kung ano ginagawa sa atin, Panginoon, hindi ako yan, Panginoon yan. Sumunod naman na langin tayo, God's gonna open things. Listen, listen, that's the word of prayer. It's worth coming Wednesday night. I hope you're an encouragement. I get encouraged with you. I hope you get encouraged with me. That's how we grow. Prayer open doors. Listen, maybe there's things in your life you don't see. Maybe you think in your life it's all closed. It's hopeless. Listen, you start praying. And I guarantee you, God is going to open doors. Maybe my brother, everything is closed because God wants you to pray. So that be, beyond your eyes, beyond you, what you see, beyond the spiritual, the, the physical realm, God's going to bring you to a spiritual realm that God's going to open you things that you don't see. But the only time you're going to see it is when you pray. I don't know, are you praying? I always say, somebody said, I mean, when, when God closes a door, watch out, God has opened a door. But how do you find that door? Well, you ask the door open it. And God opens door. Sabi ni Paul, God opens door that no man can shut. And God closes doors, mga kapatid, that, 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 that no man could open. How do you do that? Pray. Number three, in closing, are you still with me? Say amen. What's the word of prayer? Prayer is a power trigger. Are you weak? Are you discouraged? Wala ka bang joy? May struggle ka ba? Benani. You know, the thing, I, I thank God when I was taught when I was young is whenever there's God's word preached and God speaks, bend the knee, pray. Then you feel there's power. God triggers something in your life. A true Christian, mga kapatid, when you pray, real pray, there's something in your soul that steers. Something in your life that lights up. Pag wala kang ganyan, tanong mo kung kristyano ka, kung saved ka. Pero pag saved ka, Pag ang salita siya nag-preach, may conviction ka, nanalangin ka, that something steers. Kaya yung iba noon, nung ako'y bata-bata, hindi pa ako slave, nung, you know, I grew up in church, nasiba ako 10 years old. Minsan tinatawa ako, pag bata ako, di ba pinawad ko na, na forward, naiyak. Natatawa ako, sabi ko, drama-drama naman ito. Paulit-ulit naman ito, nah- ayaw, kasi lumaki ako sa simbahan eh. Pero nung nasiba ako ng 10 years old, nasiba ako, mga kapatid, doon ko na-realize, pag ako'y nanalangin, minsan na- natulog din ang luha ko, inis ko, Diba ito drama? Kaya ba pag nanonood kayo ng isang Korean novela, Kilboksun? O tingin mo, natuwa kayo. Alam na alam nyo ha. Muna parood yun na sa Netflix ha. 
Yung kanyang anak, di ba? Oh, naiyak siya. Killer yun, pero nainyak siya sa kanyang anak kasi may relasyon eh. Di ba? Oh, tinyo, nak- nak- nakarelate kayo. Kay Buksun, sa preaching ko, di kayo makarelate. Amen. Ano yung sabihin? May relasyon nga. Oh, ikaw, may relasyon ka ba sa Panginoon? Oh, ba't din tatas yung emosyon mo? Oh, yun lang yan eh. Are you still with me? Say amen. Kasi pag may relasyon ka, may emosyon yan. Sino rito may karelasyon? Walang kayo mo emosyon. I love you. Love you too. <laughs> lahat ng relasyon may emosyon. Sabi sa tabi mo, lahat ng relasyon may emosyon. Oh, ang tanong ko sa iyo, ikaw ba, relasyon mo sa Diyos, may emosyon? problema sa atin eh. Pagsagawain sa Panginoon, tuod tayo. Yeah. Sa mundo, galaw-gaw tayo. Yeah. Nakikilig tayo, nakikilig tayo. Lahat na. Sa panalangin ba? May emosyon ba yung panalangin mo? O nagbabasa ka lang ng, ano, ng pasyon? Natural yan. And if you're a child of God, you pray there's something that triggers your life. Something that steers your life. Kayo, mga young people, hindi pa naman to come to you. Katarapos ko lang ka, di ba? Pag may kirelasyon ka, may, may, may emosyon ka, kahit nadi-discourage ka, kahit nila, pag narinig mo yung boses, wow! Eh, oh, simple lang yan. Totoo yan eh. Amo, nung nililigawan ko si misis ko, na bumalik na naman ako dyan. Ano, ako ang unang user ng Globe. Globe, yung cellphone pa nun yung parang may bag, yung may, may clutch bag kang malaking malaki. Ganun ang Globe na yung bag, pag ginungan mo yun. May antena, ang laki nga. Alaka nun, pag may abang ka na yun. Ang Globe nga, ang pira. Ang sweldo ko ubos eh. So pagbabayad lang ng Globe, postpaid. Eh kasi pagkausap ko siya, ang pira. 30 minutes, 1 hour. Ubos ang sweldo ko. Pero masaya ako. <laughs> Kahit anong pagod. Pag nakausap mo, alam mo, buhay ka. O, ang tanong mga kapatid, ikaw sa Panginoon, buhay ka ba? Panalangin mo ka, buhay? O, nagmamadali ka lang manalangin. Paparaos ka lang manalangin. Babasa ka lang ng panalangin mo, memoryado ng panalangin mo, paulit-ulit lang. Kaya nga, i-record mo yung panalangin mo, kita, pagkinggan mo, then engage mo. Yung nananalangin yan, Ikaw mag-judge. Ano kaya relasyon sa Panginoon yan? Ang laki na magagawa sa buhay mo. The confidence in prayer. We appear before God. The worth of prayer is a sin killer. It's a door opener. It's a power trigger. And there will be the welcome in prayer. Let me close. The welcome in prayer. In order to have confidence that God answers our prayer, we must feel welcome before Him in prayer. Yung po ang sabi ng Bible, kaya sabi, sabi niya, that we have the confidence. Listen, it, it's just like, uh, uh, God is excited to hear from you. Uh, balik tayo sa, 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 sa kwento kay Bam. Alam mo, pagka, pagka, yung niligawan ko si Bam, iniintay kong tumawag siya sa gabi. Pag tumawag ako, nag-miss call, di ba yung pag drop call, the drop call, Pag drop call, ina-expect mo, tatawag, tatawag kasi nag-drop call. Di ba, hindi ka makatulog, hindi ka makapag-CR kasi iniintay mo, baka, baka mag-miss call eh. Kaya hindi ka makaalis. Yun, yun, yun. Yun yung pinasabi ni, ni John. Look at your verse. Sabi niya is this, And this is the confidence we may have, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know that He hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have petitions that we decide of Him. Excited. There's a welcoming prayer. His life uh, has welcoming prayer. Is your life a life that portrays that prayer is welcome in your life? Well, tonight, I hope that as we pray, as you grow, mga buddha, you realize the confidence in prayer. Let's stand. Head bowed. I close. Father, tonight, thank you for the word of God. I pray now, Panginoon, help our people have confidence in their prayer. Lord, there are many things that we need, Panginoon. But Lord, more than anything we need, we need you. So tonight, as we close, Lord, speak to your people. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Heads bowed, eye closed. Piano playing tonight. You need to come tonight. Bend the knee. Do that tonight as we close tonight. And after this, we're going to go to our growth points. Piano play. You need to come. Bend the knee. You come. What's your prayer life? How's your prayer life? You're struggling with sin? Tonight? Doors are closed in your life tonight? There's no power in your life tonight. Listen. Prayer is a sin killer. Prayer is a door opener. Prayer is a power trigger. Have learned to pray. Have learned to pray. You come. You come. Father, tonight we come, Panginoon, I pray for every church family member we have tonight on their knees. And Lord, we thank you that you speak to us, you remind us, rebuke us, revive us. And Lord, I know there are many things in the life that tends to pull us away from you, tends to rob us our joy, tends, Lord, for us to forsake prayer. But Lord, I pray, spare us, Panginoon. From these things, I pray that our life would experience the power. We will see doors open, be able to fight and win and be victorious over sin. And let it not be said, Panginoon, that we have lost our joy, the battles in our Christian life, simply because we lost the passion and the power of prayer. So I ask tonight, Panginoon, speak to the hearts of our people. Allow us to stand tonight. Panginoon, a people that's passionate about prayer. I pray that the church, our building, every Wednesday night would be filled with people on their knees praying. I pray, Panginoon, there'll be no seats that's empty on a Wednesday night. Lord, we may preach, we may sing, we may serve, we may build, we may buy. But without prayer, it's all nothing. So I ask, empower our ministries, our life, our families. We give it all to you tonight. In Jesus' name, we all pray. All of you will say, well, amen. Usher coming tonight as we take our offering and honor God tonight in a Wednesday prayer time. If you're watching on Bio Connect, there's a QR code in your screen as we give together tonight. Usher coming, we're going to pray. Father in heaven, I pray now as you have blessed us faithfully, as you have provided for us, Panginoon, in our needs. The Lord, tonight we honor you. I ask, help us not to worship empty-handed. I ask, Panginoon, allow us, Panginoon, to grow and develop a Christian life of wanting always to be faithful and not, Panginoon, be contented on just receiving blessings, receiving, Lord, hours of the word of God but Lord as we honor you we worship you we give to you we pray tonight bless this offering we love you we thank you we honor you in Jesus name we pray well amen let's give offering tonight amen let's worship together through our giving and let's sing press on amen sing together our first verse now when the valley
as we pray for uh, the many things for our church family tonight. We're going to see you Sunday. Uh, don't miss. Be here 9 o'clock. We'll have a great time. And for those of you joining online, thank you for joining us tonight. I hope you pray also as we now go to our group points. Father, bless your people. There are many things we like to pray tonight. I pray now that we as brothers, Panon, carry one another's burden. Lord, as we get dismissed to our prayer groups, Lord, allow us, Lord, to be strengthened in our life. Lord, I pray a special blessing for the people here tonight. What a joy, what a blessing to have people carry others' burdens, even with their burdens. And Lord, bring them to you tonight. Let this offering, Panginoon, keep us, Lord, always in your will. Keep us, Lord, always in your plan. Keep us, Lord, always in your word. And Lord, guided by your spirit. And so we ask tonight, allow us to come to you as we are each time and experience who you are in our life. In Jesus' name we pray. Well, amen. God bless you. Please go to your growth points. See you Sunday for our worship service. Thank you for joining CHB tonight. Touch your people once again.